One of the problems that I had with this whole Wonder Kid list and setting it up for the FMB channel this year is that there's not a lot of goalkeeper Wonder Kids this time around. You have a couple that are over 150 potential, but not a whole lot. Lucas Chevalier is one that I've seen and one that I have a fondness for, and that's why we're going to take a look at him today in our player profile. <laughs> Now, Lucas Chevalier has a special interest to me simply because in my AC Milan save on my other channel, go check that out, Seth NFM on YouTube. Uh, I just picked him up because I need a backup goalkeeper and I wanted someone who fits the profile. 20 years old, wonder kid, has that potential that he can grow into. I just need to get him to reach it. But like I said in the intro, there's really no goalkeepers in FM that are wonder kids until you get to the next season or two when regens start coming about. But now I couldn't really wait that long for AC Milan, so I picked Lucas Chevalier up after seeing him in my list and after looking to him a little more with my scouts and everything, and I really want to see how he kind of turns out. So here we are, taking a look at Lucas Chevalier. His only green right now is Decisions of 16. Uh, everything else for a 20-year-old is average 12s, 13s, a couple of 14s here and there. Um, not too bad, but definitely hoping he can grow. We all know that goalkeepers tend to have a much longer lifespan than your normal striker or defender or, or thereabouts. Uh, so Lucas Vallée should have a good career if he continues to grow into his mid-30s or so. So how is he going to do in the next 10 to 11 years? Let's find out. The year is 2034, and as you can see, he has grown fantastically. Uh, he is 32 years old, French international, four caps to his name only, though. I hmm, wonder who they've been using for uh, their goalkeeping. So he has bounced around, however, is the biggest issue. Uh, he was at Lille at the start of the game. 44 appearances, 49 conceded. Uh, he did, it looks like, spend a season on loan at Valenciennes. I, I pardon my French butchering. Moved to Leeds for three years with only three appearances. Then moved to Wolfsburg for 113 appearances. Then probably just boosted up like crazy and is now at Barcelona for the past four years. So 137 appearances, 91 conceded. His greens are fantastic. Uh, from command of area, one-on-ones, throwing, positioning, decisions, concentration, and anticipation, jumping reach, strength, all in the fantastic numbers. Everything else, aerial reach of 15, communication of 15. I always like communication to be as high as possible. First touch, handling, kicking of 13 and 14s. He's grown really well. Uh, has a contract with Barcelona until 2035. Is rated at 50 million to 151 million. Not too bad. So if you can pick him up at some point, I would like to see it, you know Leeds and Wolfsburg how he did, and I'll see that in a minute. But I, it kind of gets me excited to see him on the AC Milan team. I just need him to actually get a little more games in next season. So we'll see. But what that happens with that career stats, though, as you could see, Leeds. He moved to Leeds for 30 million. Not too bad. I got him for about 15, uh, so he's not too far off from doing some wonder things. But only two total appearances, three allowed, 6 6 not great. Didn't play at all. I'm kind of wondering if there was an injury or something. Uh, but then leads in 26-27, only one appearance is three allowed. Ouch, 6 2 definitely a bad season. Moved to Wolfsburg for 1.7 million, really on the cheap. 6 7, seven eh, average. 14 total appearances, though, so he's picking it up a bit. And then complete, looks like he's fairly much a starter from there on out. Um, from Wolfsburg for the next three years, 714, 701, 691, pretty good numbers for a goalkeeper. And then moved to Barcelona, and look at that, fantastic. Uh, completely, you know, allows much less than games. Shutouts of 14, 19, 15, 16. He's done very well after the move to Wolfsburg for very little money. So that is fantastic to see. Injuries, though, not much. So really don't know why he sat out that second season with Leeds. Maybe they just picked up another uh, goalkeeper that they trusted more than him. I don't know. But that move to Wolfsburg was really what boosted his career. Uh, but a cut hand, four days, six days, a pulled groin is the only thing, is the worst he's had. So... Overall, not injury prone whatsoever. So his milestones, as you can see, named in Lille, uh, seasonal best 11, two years in a row, bought by Leeds for 30 million. They were then relegated from the English under 21. Oh, he was under 21, Premier Division 1. But then bought by Wolfsburg, 
uh, named Wolfsburg best 11, overall best 11, seasonal best 11, World Cup winners with France in 2030. I didn't even see that. Bought by Barcelona for 100 million pounds. Damn. Uh, FIFA World Cup winners in 2030, Super Copa de España winners, La Liga Santander champions, UFA Champions League winners. Uh, 2030 and 2031 were were just absolute lights out seasons for this dude. Um, first international cap though, he didn't play in France, but I'm guessing he was on the team. 2030, 31 UEFA Champions League goalkeeper of the season. So Wolfsburg boosted his career. Barcelona made him insane. Uh, a actual world beater. So he has done very well in his the middle of his career. Um, again, he is... Nope. Again, he's only 32 years old, so he still has a couple seasons left. Uh, it would be interesting to see where he goes after Barcelona. But he has done a fantastic job in the last five or so years. So very happy to see that. For his biography, you can see Lucas Chevalier is truly one of world soccer's global superstars. He made his senior club debut in Domino's League 2, playing for Valenciennes FC, whatever it is. Having made his France debut against Italy in 2031, he's gone on to make four appearances for his country, although normally a regular at Camp Nou, Chevalier has found himself on the fringe at FC Barcelona lately. Oh, so maybe that they're uh, looking for someone new and they're going to move him on. But started his actual career at Lille in 2014-15, broke through in the first team in 22, 44 league appearances, made his move to Leeds, for 30 million and only made three regular appearances. That's just the sad part. Joining Wolfberg 1.7. Among the eight winners medals that Chevalier has collected during his career, Super Copa de España, Copa de su Majestad el Rey. Is that the Copa del Rey, I guess? Uh, UEFA Champions League, FIFA World Cup, so he was on the team at least. UEFA Nations League, La Liga Santander. Chevalier has been recognized for his talent and achievements with several awards. Spanish First Division Goalkeeper of the Year on three occasions, UEFA Champions League Goalkeeper of the Season, FIFA Best Men's Goalkeeper uh, on two occasions, and French Player of the Year third place. So, that's Lucas Chevalier in a nutshell. His contract right now, uh, 210000 per week, expires next season. Um, minimum release clause of $120 million. So, wow, he had a 5.8 game. That's hard to see. Penalties conceded from and faced, so he's he's only he's conceded no penalties. Phase two, it's not too bad for this season. But as you can see, eleven appearances in the Champions League, seven oh two. Uh, La Liga Santander, thirty three appearances, seven fourteen. Super Copa de de España, seven oh uh, with two appearances. Copa de su Majestad el Rey is four, and then the UEFA World Cup qualifications is only one and one off the bench. So I don't he's I guess he's finding himself lacking game time both at Barcelona and in France right now. I mean overall he still had a fantastic career. Definitely looks like someone you'd be will, you'd be wanting to pick up for your team at least through those you know last 5 years or thereabouts. And again, he's only 32 so he still has a couple years left. Especially if you go off the Buffon type of career, he's got another 8 years at least. Um but that is Lucas Chevalier. Looks like a fantastic player. Um, needs to grow into his role a bit and give probably give some um, good trust to in your system. You know, AC for my AC Milan save, he'll be on the bench next season. Uh, and then I'll move Magnan out and I'll maybe move him up into the first choice or maybe split time with someone. I don't know. We'll see how that works. I'm very interested to see how it works. Let us know how, it's, how he's worked in your saves. Uh, are there other goalkeepers that you would suggest over him um, at 20 years old at the start of the save? This is really a good age to get a really good young but possible uh, secondary goalkeeper that you can mentor and bring into your first team. So anyway, that is it for Lucas Chevalier and his fantastic career so far. Not over yet, uh, but I am Sefi FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you so much for watching. As always, take care and enjoy.